Welcome to SHOT Show 2024, everybody. We are here at the Case booth with my friend Maury. All right, George. Glad you're here, man. It's glad not we're all here. <laughs> Is that other most delicious voice in the knife industry? Oh, man. You're too kind. Oh, too thanks. Kind. Well, let's talk knives. All right. All right, Maury. Yes. The elephant in the room, the burning question everybody's right. got, what's the vault pattern this so, year? So as you know, the vault's a big release. We make it for one year. We start in the beginning and we only make it for the year no matter how good it is. We like to encore it sometimes, but we haven't. Uh, this year it's the razor pattern. It's our 05 razor. I don't know if you want to hold that. You want yeah, me to? Um, but our 05 razor for those avid case collectors, but you're going to see that we make it in two blade. We also make it in a one blade. Uh, but this pattern is a pattern that we've made since we were talking this morning. There's a version of this that dates back just post civil war, you know, that we made some of these knives. There's a lot of use for that razor. Now I don't personally recommend that you would actually want to shave, shave with, it. with it. Now you could, the it's going to be good and sharp, but, uh, <laughs> but there's a lot of things. What a lot of people would call that is a one armed man's knife because you can actually hook it on your shoe and you could open it. So, okay. um, so like you just hook this little thing right here. Yeah, you hook it on the, the, the sole of your shoe and it pops up. Maybe it was the original one-handed opening knife. I don't Maybe. know. We kind of go with that. Um, but we're going to have that available in all of our traditional handles. So we've got 14 versions of that that are going to be just from the core catalog alone. So we're going to have your favorites, your bone stag. We're going to have this is the sparks. We've got amber bone. We're going to have yellow. Um, you can have that saw bone. cut Caribbean. Uh, there is a saw cut Caribbean. Yep, there you go. See? I love me some saw cut yeah, Caribbean. It, it, is, it is beautiful <laughs> stuff. So we're going to have those. Uh, but this again, this is the vault pattern. So it's only going to be available in 2024. Uh, the plan is to start shipping some of these in February. So we're trying to get an early run on it, uh, even though our production is still a little lagging or trying to get caught up from all the increased demand that we've had. Uh, we are going to have that. That's very important to our year. And I know a lot of collectors are waiting on it. It's like, drum roll, please. What is it? Man? Yeah. So, uh, so we're real excited about that. Um, and the offerings, they'll also be in our spring product families, and we'll talk a little bit about some of those. Uh, we'll have it throughout the year. So uh, it's a great time if you love case knives to get that, that very fresh one. If you've got someone in your family that you don't know what to get them because they got so many, well, they won't have the vault pattern, right? It's something you could start this year. You could get them all, uh, but you absolutely know that this is something that wasn't around last year, five years ago, really even 10 years ago. It's been, uh, it's been about 20 years since we actually had this particular style in the line. For the Barlow lover, it's it's almost like a medium Barlow, mm -hmm. uh, but, but very, very nice. So, Yeah, so I know a lot of us who carry traditionals will also carry some high-speed, low-drag, modern folder. Yes. And when I carry traditional, that's where I keep my razor sharp, pristine edge. Right. And what better knife for that than the razor with that yes. deep hollow grind and a nice straight edge? For in case you need a shape or something. It's nice. There's some <laughs> other stories that you'd have to go on, the, on what you can use that for. You're like, oh, I think you could I think you could clean your nose hairs with it. I'm like, yeah, I wouldn't suggest that either. But it is <laughs> that that very tip of that is it's actually not a honed edge on the tip. Um, so it does it does work if you're going to like attach it and open it or, or do something else with it. But again, I'm not I'm not suggesting that people do that sort of stuff. But if you hang around knife folks, especially case knife folks, are like, oh man, I do, you know, whatever. There's and nothing you can't do with that, this. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. The thousand uses for a case pocket knife. Yeah, so keep your eye out for these. And if you like what you see like I do, I would recommend acting sooner than later. Yes. Yeah. Because they might go out of stock and case might get, I mean, who knows? Well, <laughs> and, and that's a great quest, That's a great comment, George, because every year uh, what we find is that the, the initial push, what we build, they sell out quickly. Now, we will continue to build them, so it's not like you've missed out. Um, but there will be that first production, and it may there may be a lag between <laughs> that. So you're, you're absolutely right. If you like it, don't wait too long. Yeah, don't wait too long. And if you're going to get them all, you may want to pace yourself. So go ahead and start. Right? <laughs> yeah, you got to start now to pace yourself. Yeah. So speaking of vault patterns, yes. a few years ago there was the Barlow. Yes. And I wanted to get one back then, but it didn't work out for me then. But I'm looking at this knife right here, and that looks for all the world like a Barlow yeah. to me. So, <laughs> so we did. So the Barlow was four years ago. And, you know, we, we even had internal conversation as it, how long is long enough for something to go back in the vault. We're never saying it's never coming back out. It just went out of production. Uh, the Barlow, there was such an incredible demand. And you look in the industry now, right? You see everybody has a version of a Barlow, a Barlow, yeah. a Barlow. We've seen a it lot is, of companies at SHOT Show. This is probably the fourth to have a Barlow. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the case Barlow, I mean, you know, obviously this this is an iconic, iconic style knife, mm -hmm. um, but the Case Barlow was one we felt like just really needed to be back in the line. So we did release it back. Now this is 
released in production. So it's not going to be a one year. It's not like there was a lot of folks because we we had some in the fall and they said, oh, this is the Barlow's a new vault pattern. Like, no, it's not the vault pattern. It is a pattern that was in the vault that is now back in production. So we're going to you're going to see that in several handle materials in our catalog. Uh, you're also going to see it. We'll use it for different projects. And that was a limited edition series that we did. Uh, we did some of those late last year. Most of them started shipping early this year. So uh, mm-hmm. that is a that is a fantastic knife. We also brought back, while we're talking about that, we also brought back the sow belly. You know, when we had a part of our production through COVID, we had to kind of choose some things that we could put a pause on, right? So we could really lean into our core. Sow belly is a beautiful knife. We sell a tremendous amount, but it was one that we said, okay, we're gonna have to take a pause in production. So we brought the sow belly back. We brought the large copper lock back um, and we brought the 225 lock back. So we brought several of these that are, they weren't in the vault, they were just out of production since 2022. Mm-hmm. So they're making their debuts back in several of our product families. So you discontinue it. They're like, hey, bring I, it back. That, that's we what we want. <laughs> well, you know, it was kind of a, a, I guess, a give and take, a compromise with operations that, hey, if you want us to catch up on any of this, we're going to have to limit the number of patterns that we're making. So you're going to have to choose some that we can hold off for a while. Now, we thought that would be six months. But we also thought COVID was going to be a six-month deal or two-month deal, right? <laughs> yeah, so, done by Easter, right? Yeah, that's right. So <laughs> all of our production has continued to be a little bit behind, but we're we're catching up. We're starting to reintroduce those patterns. The plan is that we, each year we'll reintroduce another series of them. We got some on the books for this year reintroduction, probably by Blacho. Okay. Um, so we'll have some more patterns that'll be coming back in. But the goal is to get that full line assortment. There's so many people that love that pattern. They love the copper lock. They love the seahorse whittler, the muskrat, all those things that, you know, the case collectors are always asking us for. Yeah. And if you take one out of the line, Murphy's Law, that's the one everybody's going to ask you about. Man, where, where did that pruner knife go? I'm like, are you kidding? I didn't know everybody liked it. It's a great knife. Your poor production manager. I know. He's I like, can't satisfy that, anybody. Yeah, that's right. He said, let me make one knife and I will get you in stock. I'm like, that doesn't work well. That doesn't work well. So a lot of good stuff, though. Yeah, is this yellow a new colorway? So it is. So uh, for the 2024 core catalog, this is yellow bone, right? We do a lot of dyed bone, uh, yellow smooth bone with that black case trademark shield. So it really, uh, it really pops out of there. I always say when you walk by the booth, it almost grabs you in because yeah. it's uh, getting some serious banana vibes yes, here. Yes, yes. I, I, I love the sow belly for that. Yeah. Like I always called it the ergonomic stockman. Yeah. Oh, there but... we go. <laughs> Um, but with the yellow and the curve, it yeah. just makes me too happy. It, it, it is. It's really good. And and I love, you know, we'll do the bright colors. We do the traditional colors, too. Uh, last year in the spring family, we did a lime green and that black shield. It was incredible, man. We had no idea it would sell so well. So I think it's a stark difference. It is that, you know, it's going to be that banner when you pull it out of your pocket. You know, it's just going to kind of be staring at you. So mm-hmm. it's really good stuff. Well, I love it. Any, new, any other new colorways coming out this year? So one of the things we did, uh, you know, the Itzis family, the uh, that Christian fish symbol, uh, we've done that for many years. We had the purple uh, curly maple last year. Uh, this year, it's going to be a seafoam green G10. Uh, that beautiful, I, it looks blue to me. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm no... Uh, I'm no expert, but maybe almost a Tiffany blue. A Tiffany blue. I think I'm on your team here, Maureen. Yeah. But seafoam green. Here and we I, are. I think they would say Tiffany blue if we could write it in the catalog, but you can't. You can't claim that, but you can say it, right? Yeah. So to me, that's exactly <laughs> what it looks like. It yeah. is a. It, it's a beautiful color. Our entire Ixus Shield family will be in that. Uh, there's seven knives in that family, uh, but again, you know, we talk about case knives being a. Uh, an extension of you and your beliefs and and your passions and whatever it may be. So the Ixus family has done very well for us, right? And it's just, it's that reminder, you know, you know, whatever it may be that you've got that with you or when you're using it, it's like, hey, this is uh, this is something near and dear to me. So I, I like that. Um, yeah. But what, so we'll have that one in there. You're also going to see uh, in our catalog, we just, we do a lot of natural bone for promotional families. Mm-hmm. One thing we said is, man, we just need a good old natural bone family in the catalog. So mm-hmm. there's going to be a natural bone with that case double X shield. Uh, really, really cool. So uh, and that'll that'll be in there too. And, and then we got the Sportsman series. I think you and I were talking about a little of that before mm-hmm. the camera started rolling. Yeah. Um, but again, it, it talks right about yeah. It talks yeah. about you know what is. What do you love to do? How do you spend your time? And I like to be outdoors. I like to be hunting or just enjoying nature. Uh, the Sportsman Series. So we've got five different 
animals in that. We've got the deer, we've got the elk, we've got the turkey, we've got the bear, uh, and then the, the shooting birds, whether that's ducks or pheasants or whatever you want to you want to do. But yeah, um, and the shield's the outline of the bullet. <laughs> yeah. So it, and we did the bullet shield, or if you're uh, you know if you're duck hunting, you don't use a, you don't use a rifle, right? Yeah, so please don't of, use a rifle. Duck some hunting. of them have, will have a shotgun shell shield, so it, it's appropriate by what you're hunting, right? Yeah. So. Um, really good and, and and again there's so many things about case that we hope and and probably the strength of our brand is it it's sentimental it's a reflection it's something you share with people uh and it's also something you're passionate about so we're passionate about knives so hey we'll put uh, all sorts of stuff on a knife that that represents the great folks that are buying them so it's good yeah but i like how no matter how sentimental it gets no matter how ornate it gets right. it's still keep your hands sharp hey, like that's this it, is a tool right? you can use that's right <laughs> So, so we do, I'm glad you mentioned that. So I, I told, I've told this story, but we have, we had an ad agency and it was so weird that they're like, Hey, you need to give people permission to use their case knife. They think they just have to put it up. And I'm like, that seems odd, but it's very true. Right? So the goal with all of this, it's got a lifetime guarantee. It's all made in USA. So we're like, Hey, use this knife. This is not only is it a reflection of you, but it, let it be an extension of you. Let it get the job done if you need it to. But it will make you another one if you need another one, or if you lose it, or if you break it, send it back and we'll fix it. But, but yeah, you know, so many people tie these to special occasions or collections, and that's great, and it's something you can share with anybody. But absolutely, put one in your pocket. It, it kind of hurts my feelings. Someone say, "Oh, I've got a hundred case knives." I'm like, "Oh, let me see what you got." And I'm like, I don't carry them. I'm like, come on, Why not? <laughs> Look, I got this knife, and it's some import knife. I'm like, oh man. Yeah, but, at, uh, at Blade Show this last year, a fella came up and he showed me his case knife. He says, I found this under my grandpa's bed after he oh, passed wow. away. I shook yeah. the tank stamp. It was made the year I was born. No way. But it was oh, beat wow. to tar. And I sent yeah. it to case and they polish it up, mirror everything. Yes. It looks brand new. And I'm put, I'm going to put some scrapes of my own. Oh, on. that's perfect. <laughs> Our artisan, when, when you send something in, they'll fix it. And they take great pride in that, right? Because these are sentimental treasures. And sometimes they'll call them back and say, I think you sent me the wrong knife. Like, no, we just we buffed it. We cleaned it. You know, we, we got it looking like a new knife. They just want to make sure that we didn't replace that, right? Because yeah. <laughs> we will replace it if we have to, but not without asking. Because sometimes if it's Grandpa's knife, you don't want a knife like Grandpa's knife. You want Grandpa's knife. I don't care what shape it's in, right? Yeah. So, um, all right. So some of the other stuff, well, I'll show you some of that until we get to the uh, kind of the next the next big deal from Case. But, mm -hmm. you know, in our line, we said the natural bone, we're going to do some blue denim micarta, and this will be in a, like a spring product family that we're going to do. Mm -hmm. um, again, we're bringing back uh, some of these others. We've got a, a harvest orange bone that we're going to bring back. Um, just, just a lot of different things that are going to be sprinkled within our families, right? So if you're a fan of, of a handle material that we've done in the core catalog, be it amber bone, or maybe it's our navy blue there's going to be additions to those things so i know you guys will have all that on your website and um, hopefully everybody will check it out because unless we're going to just run this video for a while and i'm good for that <laughs> I, yeah, i'd hog all your airtime if you let me but mm -hmm. you know there there's a tremendous amount of new stuff we always want to reflect on you know what is new in the industry but also what is new with our case consumer because they're always looking i don't care how many knives they've got i don't care if we had this next show next weekend, they would want to know what's new between today and next weekend. It, but it, it's great. It fuels that, and it's uh, it keeps the conversation going too. So yeah. Well, I'm truly impressed by the rate that you managed to keep up bringing up new and interesting stuff. Yeah. Well, we we try. We keep. You're right. Our production engineer, they were here. Our production manager was here. We sent them home after one day. We're like, y'all need to leave because we got one. You need to go back and get it done. But, <laughs> but I think some of them were like, do we need all this stuff? I'm like, yes, we do actually. So, <laughs> you know, please, please don't. But no, they, our our folks are working super hard, man. We've got we've got the best people making knives. It's American made in Bradford, Pennsylvania. Uh, we've got the best people, passionate people about designing and, and listening to consumers and what they want and what do we do next, right? Well, this comes from usually consumer comments. We do a lot of events. Uh, we get a lot of comments. We watch comments on your stuff to be like, oh, they do want that, you know, or what do you think of the Razor? Because um, they'll already start talking about the 2025 ball pattern. This is what they expect to see. Um, so we do that, but we got a great team in the innovations, engineering, and then the production folks. There's nobody better. Yeah, we worked team. them hard, but but we've it's it's working out, right? Yeah, and with these fixed blades, that team has kind of entered collaborative space as yes. well. You're bringing yes. more experts in. Yeah, like, you know, with Tony Bowes and yeah. here with 
Chris Taylor. Chris Taylor. Chris I want to say Chris Stewart. He used to yeah. be a representative in the house. Right. But. <laughs> hey, uh, I don't know that guy, but I don't know if he's any good at knives. But uh, Chris I, Taylor. Yes, I can tell you, Chris Taylor. So you know, one of the things that has been a challenge for us is is enough fixed blades, right? We make some very traditional, the leather handle. Uh, those will never go away. Those are fantastic. They're here to some stay. Some of my favorites. But you know, we're looking at the space and we're like, people want that performance fixed blade. You know, we're finding folks that are carrying fixed blades as their everyday carry pocket knife. You know, mm -hmm. um, so we partnered with Chris Taylor. He's a he's a great designer. He's from Arkansas, um, and and we did some testing. You know, w whether it be in our folks in the factory that are avid outdoorsmen, or some online testing that's probably way over my head, sophisticated, just to say, hey, what style? You know, what is some of the material? Uh, and we came out with three. So this is um, actually we call it. Real creative, I think we might could have done something different. The CT1, the CT2, and the CT3. Um, and we're using some, you know, when, when we do that, some of the things when we introduced the uh, Marilla and the Kinzu and the Westline in the last few years, you know, we've had to expand some of our equipment. So we are a, a handcrafted traditional knife making company with, with grinding wheels and hafting wheels and buffing and polishing and straightening. Um, but then on that stuff, we've got water jets and we've got milling machines and we've got things that aren't necessarily things that you would use in that. But with this, so these are, we're able to use premium steels, right? Mm -hmm. uh, this one's gonna have Nitro V. All right. Um, this one, the CT2 is gonna have S35, and then the CT3 is gonna have 1095. So, and we've got the, the burlap micarta, the carbon fiber, and then the G10 handles on those, so. Okay. So I think I need all three. This there you go. Gonna be my I everyday agree. carry knife. There you go. This one's gonna be my camping knife. Okay. And this one's gonna be my hunter. Perfect, perfect. We got you covered, man. We <laughs> yeah. got you covered. Uh, so, and if you need more, we, we can find some other knives out here. <laughs> well, we'll keep working at it. Yeah, but, but it really is. It does speak to that, you know, the, the style, the blade geometry, whatever you want to call it. it. It is personal for a lot of folks, right? They're like, yeah, I wouldn't. The Skinner, maybe, but, you know, sometimes like, that's the only knife I'll ever need. I can do everything with that. But mm -hmm. it, it is fun. Like, it's fun to be able to do those things and to be able to get some of these things to market pretty quick. And just to keep, keep kind of expanding what case we're, we're known for, obviously. Uh, some space that some folks may be like, oh wow, look at that a little differently than I ever did with a case knife. Mm -hmm. um, but our, our designers and engineers are having some fun with this too, so it's good. Oh, well, I love it. Thank Keep you. having fun because it means more fun for it's us. It's fun, <laughs> right? We love knives, so it, it's all good. Yeah. And then, so we've talked about fixed plates, we've talked traditionals. Wow, I just. Yep. Uh -oh. Dang, that thing's sharp. It is sharp. Right? Man, I know it. I know it. This, this rawhide leather here, that's awesome too. Yeah, but we've got some next gen, like yes. very modern stuff here. Yes. So what, tell me about these. So this is our bridge line. And, you know, we, when we introduced the Marilla and Kinsu, a lot of folks were even telling us then, like, you know, Case, this is a real leap for Case, right? Because we went from core traditional to really what I would consider a very core modern. Um, this we're calling the bridge line. So this is going to be that right in the middle. So it is a, I would call it a, a modern traditional knife or a modern folder. Mm -hmm. um, we put some cool features on it. You know, you, if you talk front flipper and case, it never was in the same sentence. Um, but here we are. But, but here we are. I think but I saw a pig flying earlier. Yeah, I know, right? You, you <laughs> never know what's gonna happen. But So this is our longhouse. So we've got the high banks and longhouse. And just like the other modern knives that we're making, uh, they all have roots or the names of the of the items have roots that that kind of go back into something in the bradford mckean county community mm -hmm. um, because it's a reflection of these are american workers these are all made in our factory um, you know we even we even make our own screws so you know we are really really working hard one's a, the high banks is a detent folder uh, that's the longhouse that you've got right there okay, so the, here's the yeah detent. that's a high, it's just a detent folder with the half stop you're going to have the the OD green micarta, you're going to have the black burlap micarta, and you're going to have a rosewood handle on either option. So you can get that handle separation. Uh, you can get it in the longhouse. You did that very well, by the way. <laughs> Took me a few minutes. All right, let's um, see your front flip. Yeah, my front flip. So, And I always do it with my thumb, too. So I've, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've gotten it. We had some people early on, they're like, I'm like, if you if you know Case and you've ever used the rust lock, mm -hmm. uh, the rust lock has the lever and big tang up there. And the first few times, a lot of people do it. It's a little weird, but and then they get it. And it's like, oh, it feels very natural. I'm like, yeah. So does this. <laughs> and what I am trying to get better at is the, the finger flip. And I use it. I don't know. I always go with the thumb, but um, but it, it is it is really sweet. Uh, really it's got smooth, the deep carry really pocket clip. These are going to be uh, CPM 20 steel. Uh, so we're using a performance steel. 
uh, the front flipper, uh, the the high banks is going to be the half stop, and it's going to have the the nail nick or the or the cutout that's going to be able to be the the nail nick in there. So, again, they all have the deep carry pocket clips. It's it's a clear anodized aluminum bolster. Uh, and then obviously the, the long house is going to be a liner lock and that's just going to be a, a D10 folder. Yeah. So I'm looking at this one. This like feels yeah. super modern. Right. I would have thought this came out of one of the companies that advertises I'm modern. Right. The right. case is like we're traditional, but we're also, yes. like, like I said, we also have water jets and CNC. Right, right. We can do some of this cool stuff too. Yeah. But I look at that bolster pattern and then I hold up Mr. Barlow here. Right. I'm like, you can see the, yeah, right. You can, you can see maybe the inspiration, right? It's yep. not, it's not that much of a, of a stretch. And I'll be honest, when we were looking at this, it was like, how do we take a Barlow? I'm not saying that's exactly how that ended, but yeah. you know, look at a Barlow, a Sodbuster, those things that people can look at it be like, oh, that looks like some case with it, right? Um, so that is that is good. But the bridge line is going to be out. You know, the you're looking in the retail ranges. It's going to be like the the 169 to 189. Okay. Uh, but with that performance steel, with some of those features, I think you guys will. Uh, I hope that everybody will like it. I'd love to. I love to read your comments. So uh, <laughs> their comments on. Especially if I'm in a video, I'm like, oh no, what did they say? I'm sorry. <laughs> Apologize in advance. But I love to read it because I love to hear, you know, and you, and you get a lot of that. Wow, you know, Case, keep going, man. I like the direction you're heading. And I always have to say, <laughs> when I'm talking to all new products, if you are a Case loyalist out there and you are you are a longtime fan, please don't think that we're we're departing from our racing, right? The, the core traditional business, man, that's our sweet spot. That's where we live. Um, but we have some of the best artisans, we have some of the best engineers, designers, equipment. So, you know, this is not off brand for us. This is great. This, a lot of younger folks would rather have knives that like, look like this. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe you're in that category. You want, you know, I want this older knife. I, mean, I want this newer knife, but you know, if you're, uh, if you're looking for an endorsement from your dad or your uncle or your mom or your grandpa, if, they, if it's not a case knife, it's not a real knife, right? Yeah. Love those people, by the way. <laughs> but maybe this is your way to say, I want to put a, I want to put a modern knife in my pocket. I want performance steel. I'm going to deep carry pocket clip. I want a flipper. And I don't and I want, want my case. grandpa to take it out of my and, backside and I yeah, tell him what knife yeah, I got. <laughs> and I want, and I want it to be a case knife because grandpa says that's what I need to carry. And, uh, and we respect got your cover. elders. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so that, that, that may be a slogan. Respect your elder by a case, right? <laughs> um, but no, it's it's a lot of good stuff. This year is going to be a great year for us. Um, we're super excited uh, with Blade HQ and, and work with them. We've had good meetings at Shot Show. We got some stuff, stuff maybe that uh, who knows what will happen by Blade yeah. Show or, or even even further out. But I can tell you, I just googled the press release. I'm not going to tell you what the name was on yeah. it. But if you want to go look there, and oh, you yes. see. Yes. I'd be very excited for Case and Blade Show. Just be watching. So listen, George. I think. <laughs> I think the folks here can keep a secret, right? I think yeah. we've uh, we've let it we've let it out a little <laughs> bit. You know, one of the things, uh, well, one of the big tragedies as a friend and, and certainly as a company when Tony Bose passed away, right? Yeah. Tony was our he was a dear friend, but a, a world class Hall of Fame knife maker, a collaborator for us, right? He, he helped elevate us. So, um, and the whole community, like the Laney profile he came oh, yeah. out with, has been emulated again and Every, again and everywhere, again. everywhere. So, you know. We looked, you know, what's appropriate with a another collaborator. You know, should we even do that again? Is it, is it, not honoring Tony's legacy? But Tony was a knife guy. Tony yeah. would be, he'd be all over us if he thought, what are you boys doing? Get out there and, and do something. So, uh, we have partnered now, and I, I can say this because we've signed a deal and we're working <laughs> on some stuff. Um, there will be a launch later in the year, but since it's out on a press release, I have to say it's public knowledge <laughs> at some level. Uh, but Bill Rupel, and Bill Rupel out of Texas, <laughs> he is a jewel of a guy. I feel like I was talking to Tony Bose, and and, I, and he said Tony was a dear friend of his. He and Tony collaborated. He said, but really, Tony was a master, and I learned from Tony. But Bill, if you work in the knife circle and you work in that custom collaborator, Bill is a master, right? He is the head of the – I have to – carefully say this, the slip joint cartel. Yep. <laughs> and I told him, I said, you're the slip joint mafia? He said, no, I'm not mafia, man. We're just a cartel. 
But you oh, know, like he has so many big names. If there is a big name in slip joints, they can the trace cartel. their lineage to that cartel. That cartel. <laughs> he showed us he brought some stuff that uh, I guess all the cartel members made him a knife, right? So he's got this this plaque with all of these custom knife makers. Enrique Pena. I mean, it's like it's like a who's who in the custom knife world, right? Um, but he has helped, and they did that because he's been such an inspiration and a help to them. So just like Tony, he loves to share his trade. He loves to. He's passionate about knives. Um, we have we have found a jewel, and we're super excited. So at Blade Show, there'll be some other stuff. We can't go into too much detail about that, but but I'm excited. It is a tremendous <laughs> amount of pride that we say we're going to be working with Bill Rupel. And don't tell anybody. I told you all that. So if you post something online, just don't say it came from Ari. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. But hey, we got a camera. We got a mic. It's going to be great. Yeah, it's going to be great. But but that's going to be very exciting. And and I know there'll be a Blade HQ customers that'll be super excited about that too. And yeah, we're just looking forward to building that relationship, working that through product lines and collaborations and and limited editions. And and he'll make us better, just like Tony Bowes made us better. He'll make our trapper. I mean, it's that corresponds and correlates all the way through the factory, right? When you get that level of expertise and that level of passion, everything levels it, up. It helps. It helps everything. So, so it's going to be good. Look for a lot of good stuff this year, um, and a lot of good stuff at Blade HQ this year. From Case, I know you always have good stuff, but we're, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna get on a Case vibe in here. So, but it is going to be a historic year for Case. Yes. So yes. make sure you're subscribed to Blade hey, HQ. Speaking historic, last that. thing. All right. We're 135 years old this really? year. Really? Right? So we're celebrating. You I can't believe it. I didn't work. I know, right? <laughs> I don't look a day over 150 today at the year, but <laughs> but no, I I, I should have worked that in first. So Case yeah. is celebrating 135 years, American manufacturing. People ask me all the time, I think Case is making knives in China. I'm like, listen, if it says Case on the knife, it is made in America. That is a commitment from our owners. Uh, we're owned by Zippo. It's family owned. That's not going to change. And, and and we're proud of it, but we're proud to be 135 years old. You know, it uh, takes a lot to have that kind of that have that kind of yeah. stability and, and just uh, stamina, I guess, in the knife business. How many multi-billion dollar corporations have been made and fallen in 135 years? Right. A lot. Yeah. Yep. So, so we're gonna hang in there. the test of time. We're going to hang in there. That's exactly right. So, All right. Well, Maury, thank George, you so much for your time. Thank you very much. We appreciate you guys and appreciate all the folks that, that tune in to you. I, I love to watch your videos. I learn a lot. And, well, uh, thank you, Maury. You know, as, we're, as we're getting into the modern stuff, it's always good to, to get that information and to get an expert opinion. And uh, your website's great for a source of that information, too. So, um, to say that I haven't utilized all those things, it's uh, <laughs> I'd be lying because I have. But it's great, right? I think it's, it's great. There's so much knowledge out there that you guys are creating. So thank you for that. Well, you're welcome. And thank you all for joining us in this video. All of these knives, if they're not available at Blade HQ now, they will be shortly. And Blade HQ's got a wide selection of case. Yes. So yes. if you see something like, I like the sow belly, but I'm thinking I want green, I'll bet you it's there. there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we use so. a lot of that, right? So it, it'll be most anything you can find, there's multiple versions. So you'll find something for your taste. Yep, there's a case for everyone. Yep. So thank you all for joining us. If you want to see more stuff from SHOT Show here in Las Vegas, Nevada, it's going to be on our YouTube channel. Just hit that subscribe button, you'll see it all. And with that, we'll see you next time. All right, thank you.